Hi, my name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will talk about how to do multiple assigns. And back in the old days, or at least six months ago, we have to do it like uh, this. If we want to change the value of like four variables in a workflow, we have to do one assign for each. And that could be a bit of a pain in the beep, 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 because um, it will get quite messed up. However, in June 2019, UiPath introduced a very neat activity called multiple assign, and it works really well. So um, we could just uh, put in the variable we want to change the value of, and then we will put in the value that we want to change it to, like this. And we can even just, we could click add if we want to change uh, the value of all full variables. And we can just change it here. And uh, if we regret it, we will just uh, click the cross here. And uh, let me change the last one as well. Oh. This is a quite nice way to do it and really fast. And it looks good in your workflow. It's much more easier to look at. However, there's a third solution, like the old school advanced, I will call it. And uh, let's look at that. And the activity we want to use here, that's the invoke code. Here. Drag that in. And it's like, you can see this as a child workflow and with arguments like uh, usual. So we'll just put in the four uh, in and out arguments, so that will be it will just come out with the same name, and then the bool match that will be in and out. This one we'll have to do here. So you can see that this one got a bit more work to do. It will probably be the same to look at when we are done. However, um, the advantage of this solution compared to the uh, multiple assign activity, that is that we can even invoke more code than just uh, changing the variables value. Let's look at that. Here, let me just finish this and we'll look at the code. It will just be like traditional .NET code. So here we got a uh, the four variables the arguments in and out and then we can edit the code and we can simply just if you wanted to change the value we will just uh, put an equal sign and then quotation marks if it's strings so this one will could be Denmark and then like this And the advantage here is that we can even introduce more code in this child workflow if we want. However, we won't do, we won't do that here. And now you can see it's probably the same size as the multiple assigns, but a bit more work to do. And so there's pros and cons with the two activities. So that's it for today. Have a good day. Bye-bye.